One of the trickiest things about doing calligraphy with brush pens is transitioning smoothly between thick and thin lines. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some common calligraphy transition mistakes and how you can fix them so your calligraphy will look more smooth and consistent. Now I am using a large brush pen here just for the sake of this video so you can see the examples better, but I do recommend starting with a smaller, firmer brush pen like this Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen, especially if you're new to calligraphy. Larger brush pens tend to make transitions and all of that more difficult. They're harder to control. So if you are having trouble with transitions, try switching to a smaller, firmer brush pen. Let's first talk about abrupt calligraphy transitions. So I'm gonna write the letter A here, and that's kind of just our example of what we're aiming for. The transition from thin to thick or vice versa is nice and smooth, and there's nothing really abrupt or jagged. That's our goal. But sometimes we have the problem of transitioning too abruptly. We start out thin and then very suddenly transition to heavy pressure. So right there, I transitioned so abruptly that there actually isn't really a transition at all. The line just goes from really thin to really thick. Instead of starting with light pressure, then heavy pressure, and then back to light pressure, nice and smooth. That's how it's supposed to look. Now, an obvious solution to an abrupt transition like this is just to color in that part where you missed, and that's totally fine. It happens to all of us. Sometimes we need to touch up our lines, but if this is happening to you a lot, then you want to look at how you can prevent it from happening so that you're not having to touch up every letter you write. So the problem here is that we're adjusting pressure way too abruptly and too suddenly. So it might look like you're slowly writing an oval, you come around the side, and then you suddenly realize you need to have a thick line, so you quickly press really hard on the pen, and then you have that missed area where you really suddenly added heavy pressure. And of course this doesn't always just happen at the top, it could also happen at the bottom. So for this, we need to work on making these transitions between pressure, between line thickness, more gradual so that they're smoother. It shouldn't be really sudden. It needs to be a little more gradual. And one simple way we can do this is by starting the transition a little bit sooner than we think we need to. So instead of realizing right about here that we need to be at heavy pressure and then suddenly adding it, Let's instead start adding the pressure more like here. So that's about where we should start adding this pressure so that we can gradually transition. So right about here, start slowly, gradually adding the pressure so that by the time we come around to the side of the oval, we're already at full pressure. So starting earlier gives us time to make that transition gradual and smooth. And when you're writing an oval like this, if you draw a line down the middle, it should be thick on one side and then thin on the other side. But the middle areas are kind of like the transition areas. So right here, it's thick, but then here, it's getting slightly thinner as we transition. So those are the areas where we're transitioning from thin to thick, from light to heavy pressure. So once again, start doing the transition earlier, a little sooner, a little further back, to give your hand time to make that pressure change. These pressure changes are very subtle, but they make all the difference in how your calligraphy looks. So it's all about training your hand with practice to make these subtle changes. Once again, we don't want to do fast, abrupt, sudden transitions between line thickness. We want to do it slowly, but also smoothly. And this also applies to the bottom of the oval. Of course, I'm focusing on the top right now, but this can happen anywhere you have a transition. So it can be with loops, just any shape, any stroke where you have a transition. This applies to that. If I added that pressure more abruptly like that, that's another place where I could work on starting to transition earlier so that my hand has time to prepare. 
So color it in if you need to, that's totally fine, but also work on practicing and training your hand to make that transition just a little bit sooner and work on making those pressure adjustments more smooth. So another calligraphy transition problem is dragging weight into what are supposed to be thin upstrokes. And this one is really easy to do. And then those thin upstrokes are suddenly a lot thicker than they should be. So for comparison, here's what it looks like when I'm being controlled about those thin upstrokes, keeping them nice and thin. And then here's an example of where I'm kind of just flicking my pen upwards and those upstrokes are getting a little too thick. So that still looks okay, but generally you want to keep the thin lines thin and the thick lines thick. So see how there are inconsistent line widths. Here we have thin, thin, but then we also have thicker thin lines and so it's just kind of inconsistent and it starts to affect the overall look of everything and make it look inconsistent and messy. So there are a few things that cause this problem and the biggest one is just going too fast. So it is so easy to just go too quickly and start flicking your pen and just not paying attention, especially if you're using a larger, softer pen like this. And this can look totally okay, and if it doesn't bother you, that's great. But if you want your calligraphy to look really neat and clean, then you need to work on slowing down and being more intentional about the strokes and not going too quickly. Another thing that causes this is holding your pen too much below your writing. So even if you're just holding it just a little bit below like this, you can see that I still get that weight and that thickness right there at the bottom when I'm trying to come up light. So make sure you're positioning your brush pen tip to the side of your writing so that the pen isn't working against you and putting the weight and thickness in the wrong places. Another thing is that if you tend to be heavy handed when you're writing, it's just going to be harder for you to release that pressure and keep those areas nice and thin. So if you are heavy handed, try switching to a firmer pen. So the brush pens I've been using here are big and pretty soft, but if you switch to a pen like the Tombow Fudenosuke pen, it's a lot firmer. A firmer brush pen tip is just a lot more forgiving and easier to control, while soft, really flexible, floppy ones are a lot harder to control and they can just make this a lot harder. So you can look for pens that say hard tip or feud or something like that. Those are really good calligraphy pens because they're nice and firm. Of course, you can also have this problem with ovals too. Ovals are like notoriously especially hard for calligraphy transitions, so it's usually that shape that will show you how your transitions are doing. So that trick of starting to adjust pressure earlier also works for this. So on this case, I would start to release pressure earlier so I didn't drag too much thickness up into that upstroke. I'll slowly release that pressure so that I can come up light. So whether it's at the top of the oval or the bottom, work on that transition earlier so that we keep the thickness on one side and we keep it thin on the other side. And messy transitions can also sometimes just totally be caused by the pen. Some pens are just really not good for calligraphy and they make it so much harder to keep everything neat. So sometimes you just need to change your pen to something firmer, something that's easier to use, easier to control, so that you're not making it harder for yourself. I really like Stabilo Pen 68 brush pens because they're so easy to use and they make transitions feel really nice and smooth. They have great um, bounce back. 
but if I was using something really floppy, like there are some brush pens that have tips that are basically just like paint brushes and really hard to control. So not all brush pens are the same and if you're newer to calligraphy, look for just small or medium pens that are easier to control. And I will leave links to some of my favorite brush pens in the description right below this video. Also, just practice. Practice helps a lot because the more you practice, the more you build muscle memory and the more you train your hand to make those subtle adjustments, those subtle pressure adjustments. So because I've been doing this for a while now, it just feels a lot more natural to my hand. But if you haven't been doing this for as long, you'll want to practice more to practice making those adjustments smoothly and gradually. And over time, you will train your hand to make those adjustments so that you don't even really have to think about it. It will get a lot easier over time the more you practice. Some strokes, some transitions, some directions will just be easier for you than others, and that's okay. Again, practice helps, but also none of this has to be absolutely perfect, so don't worry if there are some imperfections and some not very smooth areas, some jagged edges, but I hope these tips help make it easier for you as you work on making those transitions more smooth so that your calligraphy looks smoother and more consistent overall.